You know that thing where you've just recorded the perfect piano part for your track, or maybe you've recorded a vocal that is the best you're ever going to sing, but you forgot to hit record? Well, Logic Pro for iPad 2.2 has got you covered. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the very cool new flashback capture feature here in Logic Pro. Let's go. Welcome back to Studio Live today. Logic Pro for iPad 2.2 is a happening thing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the very cool flashback capture feature here in Logic Pro. Let's dive in. So how does this work? Well, in simple terms, if you're playing back your project and you've got a MIDI track or an audio track selected, Logic Pro for iPad 2.2 is going to record whatever you're playing or whatever's being recorded. Yes, it's like a fail safe for those of us that uh, sometimes forget to hit the record button. Let's show you how this works and then I'll go through the details of how you can set this up in your Logic Pro for iPad. So if we just go to this MIDI track, let's just delete it and pretend we haven't recorded this. Now, ordinarily, what you do if you were smart is you would turn on your input monitoring here and you'd hit record and you'd start recording your piano part. I've got a MIDI controller plugged in, ready to go. But let's just say you're like, oh, I'm just trying a few things out here and I'm just gonna play back my track instead. Let's hit the play button and play in a part. And hit stop. Now I've just played in that part, but it's a cool idea and I've completely lost it forever. Or have I? Because I've got the flashback capture enabled here. So all I need to do is tap on this button and check that out. The MIDI part that I played in there is restored just like magic. Let's play it back. Was it as good as I first thought? Maybe not, but it's there and I haven't lost it, which is super cool. So we can do the same thing with our audio tracks. So let's show you how that works. Okay, this time I'm going to delete out this audio part because let's assume I hadn't sung this one in here. And once again, I'm going to get my vocal ready. Got my microphone here and I'm going to record in this vocal, but instead of hitting record, I'm going to hit play. Definitely something I've never done before. Let's hit play and record in a vocal. I was feeling like something was missing when I opened up my door. It's always hard when you haven't even got any MIDI. Oh no! I'm not recording. I didn't hit the record button, but no problem at all. All I need to do is hit this one and check that out. My recording is there, ready to rock and roll. Let's listen to this amazing recording I just did. I was feeling like something was missing when I opened up my door. How rad is that? Now at this point you might be saying to me, Pete, that's wonderful, but I don't see flashback capture on my control bar. Well, no problem at all. All you need to do to add it is tap in the top right, go to customize control bar and turn on the flashback capture. It's here under transport. Once that's on, you'll have access to it. And if you record without hitting record, you can grab those recordings and add them into your projects. It's a super handy new feature here in Logic Pro for iPad 2.2. And if you'd like to check out all the new features here in Logic Pro for iPad, including the new stem splitter, the MIDI Learn, and everything else, check out my complete overview video that's on the screen right now or linked in the description. You'll also find there my complete playlist with all the new features in Logic Pro for iPad 2.2. I'll see you over there.